concussion test. And I have a feeling that that's a problem. Look. Those rings are tossed. Here's her problem. So a huge disappointment. We get to take the top end off of this bad boy. Because it has zero compression. Zero. No compression. It's supposed to have like 175 pounds. I mean, it sucks, so we're going to take the top end apart and we're going to see what we're going to need. And we're most likely going to go with the Weissville top end and not go with one from Wuhan, China, just for precautions. Right? So we're going to spend money on this. More money. Where, where are you going to spend more money? More money, because we're going to buy America. America. So, First thing you want to do is unbolt your exhaust probably from underneath, take your carb crap off, and then we'll start taking it all apart. Ah, freaking four strokes. Through camshafts and the fancy time chains and all that. Garbage. Stupid bear burrito song stuck in my head. Whoa, Raptorina. Never. She should go to Wuhan, China. Don't forget that. 9-11, we never forget. You might as well soak that maybe, huh? What? My carburetor. This carburetor? Yeah, I just I cleaned it up some more. Yeah. No? Pretty clean in my opinion. Okay. So we'll go on the parts bed in here in a second. That's poor bike. Now it's going to get the love that it deserves. From a bratty, almost nine year old. from my head. Oh. I guess that was just me tripping. So there's our this little mark here on the cam sprocket and this little mark when you line those two up that's top dead center. So we're going to do that right now. This bolt right here this is your um, tensioner for the chain. So you loosen this guy out first and then you lose, you know, your tension will drop on your chain and you can take it out. But right now we're gonna align our, we're gonna align our marks. So 
So that right there should be top dead center. And if not, then we have other problems, but that right there should be it. It's like, what the fuck? They probably Loctited it in there. Crisscross pattern little by little. off the thread. Submerged underwater. Yeah, they're looking, looking pretty that, crusty. That, it's probably from people washing it or just right or crap. The more itself inside and just all around looks decent, you know? I think water must have got in that bowl. Cute. I wonder if I jam this guy with another with one of these if it'll come out. have the cylinder head on. Slider's supposed to come out inside there. Whatever. So it looks like the way this cam gear goes back on is it's notched underneath here. It's like, well, what the hell? How do you line it up? Look at that. It's all scan scan. Oh man. What is going on in there? 
Is it broken? Did it swallow one of those screws? Oh man, that head's junk. Look at that. Valve's bent. That's junk. The cylinder head's garbage. That's why it has no compression. That valve's open. That's bad. But maybe we can find a cell uh, valve. Now the sucker comes out. Dang it. Wow. Well, so do you think that's one of those things where the screw fell down there and caused a ruckus? What's that? That's the lower chain tensioner. Chain guide, I mean, not tensioner. It looks, definitely looks like something went in there. I'll tell you in a second when I look at the piston. Shouldn't be hitting that with the metal. Mallet, but I don't care right now. The only thing you have to watch for is make sure this chain doesn't fall back inside the case. So if that sucker goes in there, we are screwed. Junk too. What piece is that? That's a cylinder. Oh. See all the scratching inside? Yeah, yeah it needs to be bored out. So you're better off buying a top end. And is this even? I guess it is a factory Yamaha, so. Piston's got a hole in it. See that? Something fell in that motor. It's probably the freaking screw. Right at the bottom, there's a, there's a hole in it. So it needs basically everything. Like a whole entire new motor, not just the top end? No, it needs the top end. I think the bottom one's still fine. Definitely looks like something went in there. Whatever went in there probably came out already. The rings are stuck also, like stuck, stuck. The one side stuck, both compression rings. Tiny little fucker though. It's so cute. cute. <laughs> yeah, definitely something smacked this piston. I'm gonna guess it's probably one of those screws because the one was locked tight in it, but the other one wasn't. But yeah, look, look at those. Both of those valves are leaking. They're both leaking. They're both, this one's bent, and this one's, the whole combustion chamber over here is so gouged up that it's making a hole. The valve can't seal. So that's, that's where our compression went. That and the stock rings. Oh, I have to find a cylinder head. Two. That sucks. Yep. 
What do you get, honey? I got a high end part from Mr. South Texas Banshee himself. Something needed to make this bike run. What is it? What is it? What is it? It's a round plug to square plug stator adapter. Ooh! Fancy, fancy. South Texas Banshee for all your Banshee needs. That guy's the man. Yeah. I have a round plug stator in it, and the bike's got a square plug harness, so we're going to use an adapter. This is a heat gun. Almost lost that fuse. This is from Redo Banshee. Stuff I've been waiting for and I can show up because I can button this clutch side back up now. What's that? Clutch cable. Nice and almost new. Sweet. There's a clutch perch. Because ours is broken. Those come in handy. Now this will complete the look. Fancy eee, headlights. headlights. I wish they had the grills. grills out on, but they're hard to find with the grills. For 50 bucks, you can't beat them. So we got headlights now. Complete the log. Anything else? A bumper. A bumper. How much is that? This bumper is 49 bucks. But ours doesn't have a bumper, so it's going to complete the look of it with the bumper. You might be able to get one new for not too much more. No. I don't think. Yeah. Let's see. It looks like one. It's really a shame that we did not film the build of this. Yeah. It's such a pretty horrible, bike. Horrible people. I wish I could snake this guy through here. Oh, it's so adorable. Isn't it? It's so cute. It's what up, four so eyes? Now it's the looks complete. Now I gotta adjust my clutch and put oil in it, put cooling in it. You know what? I put the carbs on it, fire the sucker up. And build a whole bunch of motors on top of that. Build what motors? A bunch. The little motors? You got little motors, you got the motor on yours if it ever comes back. No. I'm People sure I'm uncooked. sure there's something else too. People eating uncooked baths in the over. Yeah. Alright gang, thanks for watching.